here is a man who has flown faster than any other human being in history. Pilot Joe Walker, this morning he flew 2,150 miles per hour. Joe, how does it feel to be the fastest living human? I don't know if I feel much different than I did yesterday, except that the waiting for the flight is over, finally. The looking back much better. Right. What did you think about as you were climbing underneath the mothership, the B-52? I'd say that my main concern was to make sure I was kept up with the rest of the team uh, when they were ready to launch, so was I. Go 40 seconds now, then. 40 seconds now. Time started. Time on the bottom engine looks good. Time on the top engine is now blossoming. Ready to launch flight on at 15 seconds. did you reach your maximum speed? Uh, if you notice the vapor trail from the engine, at the instant it cut off, that was the point at which I reached the maximum speed. Now, what was your altitude then? Around 66,000. How long were you going that 2,150 miles? Just one instant. And the 2,150 was absolute maximum? Uh, that number, if they don't by correction, get the raises a notch or two, or we're going to have to change the indicators and the cockpit. This is oh, sort of preliminary. You went much faster than this. I wouldn't say much faster. I'm hoping it turns out to be a higher number than what they computed off, quite off the press. But there's no doubt about a world record. Right. A careful look at the data raised the first estimate, setting the speed record at a new high of 2,196 miles an hour. Then on August 12th, just eight days later, Major Bob White was up before the cameras talking about his new altitude record, 136,500 feet. The flight today offered, uh, I would say, no problems and nothing that could be considered a limitation as far as man's ability to fly an aircraft. up and reached the highest climb angle, I was very definitely impressed that I was going, well, almost straight up. Of course, it wasn't straight up, but it, it appears to be that way from the cockpit. Are you coming up on 10 now? Okay. Angle's very good. Going through 11 now. Burn out. Burn out now.
what you see at this altitude impressed me as being the most dramatic point of flying at uh, over 130,000 feet. The very dark blue sky and the lighter band that was immediately surrounding the Earth, and then, of course, the many, many miles off in the distance that you're able to see. Looking to the future, I would say that we hope very much, and I would particularly like to continue on in, in work that would take us to a higher altitudes with manned aircraft. Okay, you got three, Bob. You're about five feet. A two, you're on. Good job, Bob. Attention all stations. Uh, push flight briefing 1030.